All right, let's go to our business editor, Tiki Fullerton. Uh, Tiki, tell us about the ASX today. How did it go? Just off a little bit, everybody's looking forward to uh, overnight, 4am, we've got the big decision by the Federal Reserve expectations. That's going to probably lead to a drop of 25 basis points there. And also the other factor impinging on things is the oil price coming off uh, um, overnight uh, quite a lot. And that's led to just a little bit off on the ASX down 0.2%, 6681. Qantas, interestingly, Spearsy up. 1.78% today, and you can see how sensitive they are to share prices. One other thing I'd say about your interview with Alan Joyce is that the organisation A4ANZ, which is all the airlines uniting against the common enemy of the airport, the chairman of it is Graham Samuel, of course, ex -triple C boss, so it must <laughs> make for some interesting conversations there. Yes, uh, and he referred to uh, the former ACCC uh, chiefs. That's one of them, of course, who are on side with him on this particular campaign. Look, uh, today you've, Tiki, also been speaking to the chief executive of Linus, Amanda Lacaz. Yes. Look, she is, uh, she's having a much better time of things. Rare earths, as you can imagine, with all these trade wars, uh, China, US, uh, they are the main producer of rare earths for batteries outside uh, China. Very important. They had a huge problem with uh, producing and refining rare earths up in Malaysia with the Malaysian government. They were waiting on their um, um, you know, acceptance of an extension of their licence. They got that for six months at, at least. That's a stay. Uh, which is good on their way to a, a three-month uh, acceptance of that licence. Uh, but today she was in very good stead and, of course, she's batted off that bid from West Farmers. Here's a little uh, a piece of her today. West Farmers is a, a, an outstanding Australian company. You know, really excellent company. And simply what we had was wrong bid, wrong time, wrong tactics. And so I, I think it's something which happened and, and we've all moved on. Yeah, and West Farmer's bid for the, for the company was at 225. She's a lot higher than that up now, up more like 250. So I think she and her board are very happy with the decision.